4th of April, 2023. And I want to walk you guys through a very quick trading idea on Intel ticker symbol INTC with a very high probability of profit and a 20% return on capital. So for those of you who watch my channel will know that I like to sell options, generate credit and manage my winners early. So the first thing I like to look at when looking at a stock to trade is the IV rank. So you can see here the IV rank of Intel is 48.7. And if you are new, the IV rank measures the stock's current level of volatility against the last 52 weeks. So it's expressed as a percentage between zero and 100. Zero being this stock has a very low level of volatility compared to the last 52 weeks. And anything over 60 is probably considered a very high or volatile stock in comparison to the last 52 weeks. And I like to use IV ranks. It allows me to compare different stocks and which stocks that are better to trade if there are two or three potential opportunities within the market. So the first criteria I like to look at, the IV rank needs to be above 30. Anything above 40 is an exceptional stock to trade and with 48.7 for a stock like intel that has an expected move of only three dollars that is a very high iv now i like to set my expiration dates between 45 to 60 days out so you can see here that we are at the monthly option cycle may 19th which is exactly 45 days till expiration now what i generally like to do is either sell an out the money call or an out the money put depending on if i have a directional bias but for intel and i've only traded intel once in my trading career and i don't really have a bias to the upside or the downside so what i've decided to do is sell a neutral strangle a strangle is where you sell an out the money put and an out the money call which is what i've got set up on my screen now and that creates a range that we need Intel to stay within between now and potentially expiration. So if we have a look at the numbers here, what I've done, I've sold the $27 put strike for a credit between 29 to 31 cents. So you can see here, this is also a very liquid underlying with a very tight VIDAR spread. And then we have sold the 38 call again between 37 and 48 cents so if you just look at it from a one contract perspective you can see here that we could generate around 68 cents uh, per contract so one contract equals 100 shares so that is a max profit as you can see here of 68 dollars now trading this again on a margin account to allow you to sell calls and puts at the same time the buying power effect is only $329.40, which works out to just a little bit over 20% return on your capital, which is why I love this trade. 20% return on capital. We're not expecting to realize the full $68, and we'll talk about that in a second, but at trade entry, getting a 20% return on capital is relatively high. Now, if we have a look at the probability of profit, now these probability of profit is all the way to, if you held it to expiration, you can see here we have a probability of profit of 79%, which is quite high. And you can see here, we've just gone outside of these blue dashed lines, which is a one standard deviation move where around 68% of the price action should stay within. We've gone slightly wider than that, just gone outside of that expected one standard deviation and therefore our probability of profit is a bit higher but what i like to do is i like to manage my winners early so i look to get around 50 percent of the max profit so in this example that will be what 30 34 cents or 34 dollars there thereabouts and one good thing about the tasty trade platform is that it calculates what your p50 or probability of profit at 50 percent would be and you can see here that is at 93 percent so 93 percent to collect 50 percent so that would be around a 10 percent return on your capital if we were able to close this position out at 50 percent max profit now there aren't many trades currently that i can see with volatility decreasing so finding an opportunity here to be able to do that one thing that you have to be careful of 
is that it does have earnings on April the 22nd. So I like to manage my trades 21 days before expiration. So earnings is just before the 21 days mark. So I will look to manage this position before the 27th of April. So about the 26th of April, what I'll look to do is either close the position with any type of profit that there is, or if I'm currently losing on this position, I will then roll this out by another 45 to 60 days. So I'll roll this out to the, to the June cycle by the time we get there for another net credit and widen out my strangle strikes to stay centered. So that's how I manage the trade, but on trade entry, which is the only thing that we can control, we have no idea what Intel is going to do. So what we need to do is make sure that we have put the probabilities in our favor, which is our best edge. Our best edge is being everything right on trade entry. And that is collecting enough of a enough of a credit. So around 50 to 60 cents is probably my minimum amount of credit I like to do. Return on capital, at least a minimum of 10 to 15%. This is 20%. Uh, a good probability of profit, even though we're not going to hold to expiration or I don't like to hold to expiration. I like to see this above 60, 65 percent P50 within the 90s. And again, highly liquid stock, which you can see here from the bid ask spread. And then we've also got a high IV rank of greater than 30. So I hope you've liked this video. If you want more videos like this, please comment uh, down below and make sure you like and subscribe and you've got all my trading strategies on the screen and I shall see you guys in the next video.